that one. Look at that. Cast out, man. You just jerk, jerk, strip, boom, ate it, set, fish in the net. So I'm an island boy. We're on the strawberry reservoir today, throwing minnows. So far, Cheech has been catching them on his tube jig. Sean. Cut. Nice. Love it. Whoa. Whoa. What do you think, Squatch? Whoa. All right. So here's what's going on. I'm using like a type 5 line casting out and letting it just get down to depth and then giving it some real quick strips and then killing it I'm fishing a bugger with a long tail so it gives it a lot of motion and that dude kawhammo smashed it like bringing up bring them on a pile of hot juicy mashed taters Let's see if we can do it again The minnow was not working out. I'd hooked a couple, probably because Cheech tied it and it wasn't really constructed properly to hook a fish. So I had to switch to my own flies with a midge tip. He is not happy. Piranha mid? Piranha mid. That's called the white lancer. Little cutty, not very big, but he ate a piranha mid. Gone. Coronamids on the midge tip. It's November. It works. He's mad too. It's mad. They're they're mad. He what? <laughs> the fish is mad. The fish. The fish that is on the end of my line is not mad. The fish on the end of my line is affected. That's why. Your rainbow pro hack. Let your hand down here under the fish before you grab it. Boom. There you go, Squatch. Good gone. Where is it? Whoa. There it is, puppy. Not bad for Dr. Langus. Squash is about one in. Cool. More stanky little rainbows. Come on. What do you think, Squatch? Where are the big cutties? Oh. That's a good fish. for sure. Oh, the freak. Ron? You don't want to see anything? Yeah, you just, I was trying to hold fish up to get a picture and I screwed it up. Is that what you want me to say? My bad. It's better for the fish anyway. I flip my glasses in the eyes and that's it. I'm fired up right now. Cheech here with the Squatch Dog, front of the boat. This is my first fishing trip on the boat since early this summer after getting a bionic shoulder, in, what is it, implanted? Is that how they do it? It's in there. I just caught a big fish and I lost it before we could get a picture. Anyway, join us on our adventure today here in majestic Utah. Welcome back to fishing, Mr. Shoulder. 
got to get the net squatch. Oh. It's gone, squatch. Okay, it's November in Utah. So you never know if it's going to be nice and warm or snowy. So we, we got to the lake, we went to one of our favorite spots, we threw minnows, bait fish, bigger streamers, we got a few to chase. Then we moved around a little bit, threw some dry flies and that worked and now we're in a cool little spot, there are fish all around us and we're throwing midge tips and parabolic lines with wacky flies. Guess what? Fish are eating them, not surprised either. I'd like to give a shout out to my Orvis. Helios 3 10 foot 6 weight. This thing's been with me for years. It's a good cutthroat. Watch, where's, where's the fish? It's got some good spots. Oh, on. yeah. Ate a fab. That stupid yellow starburst fab. This one's done with block jelly, so it's like way more bright in the water. Like a four millimeter butt and the heavyweight champ for the hook. Can't beat it. Oh, freak. I couldn't strip that. Look at that. Hot dog and cheese in my hand. I just lost the fish because of meat and cheese. I couldn't set the hook. That fish ripped me off. Man. I saw, I saw it turn, go back. Fish is in the water, okay? So I'm gonna talk to you while the fish is in the water. I, I noticed that the fish were eating the flies close to the end of my retrieve. So I started fishing the hang, which just means that I'm gonna angle my rod about a 45 degree angle and just kind of let it sit there and slow strip and as those flies come up through the column for whatever reason that's what they want today another nice cutty Missed him again. There we go. I was getting worried. Fat Albert. Nice cut on a Fat Albert in November. Persistence. I didn't take in one for the team fish and dry fly. Cheech is over there railing on the fish. But you know what? I want to show you guys that it's possible to catch a cutthroat on a dry fly in November. There we go. Dry fly eater. Hopefully, we'll have some footage from this because he ate three times. Third time's a charm, I guess. Woo, that was a nice one. Ho, 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 ho. He bust oh. you off? This means war. I'm not gonna put up with this for one second. He ate it three times. Three X tip it. Snap me straight off. I saw him porpoise out in the water as like an eight pound fish. I'm gonna get him. Not with that. People who fish dry flies, freaking noobs. It's not that hard. You just throw it out and wait for the fish to eat it. This is what I'm talking about. Little leech, little fritz, little long tail, jig hook, cheek spit on there. I don't even have to trim that one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now what, fish? I put that same fly back on there. Pa! Pa pa! He's trying to shake himself off. angry. It ate that old Fritz fly. I'd be mad too. It's the dumbest fly ever. Whoa, this is either a big fish or I got him foul hooked. Oh, old bionic shoulder doesn't like that one. Holy moly. There we go. Oh, stink. Dang it. We would have had a double. Old bionic shoulder doesn't like that one. Where? Where? That's what the death glare, Squatch. What do I do, Brigham? What do I do? Just reel it in. I can't. Did Can you, you help eat, me? Did you eat? There's one. He's gone. Curtis has another one. What did he eat? Oh, crummy Frenchie. There he is. My old cutthroat. Crummy Frenchie. Midge tip. Cheech says, let's end on a one fish, one fish rule. Five seconds later. Oh, and I got one too. Double. Oh, two fish rule. Call this a ground rule double. Or a walk off double. A walk off double. Another chronomid eater. Last fish of the day. We said let's end a fish. Or let's end the day on a fish. So that's mine. Curtis hooked up before me though. So it's a walk off double. Chronomid eater. Watch this. <laughs> his belly up. No, oh, he's he's not. I tickled his belly. Turned him upside down. He thought all was fine and good. And we tickled his belly, he turned over like a freaking rocket. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.